when we are talking about the rise of nationalism in europe it cannot be completed unless we talk about the german unification and the italian unification lo so let's talk about the german unification you see by all the efforts that the people had made by 1848 they had not been able to place constitutional monarchy in their country they still had the old regime the old kind of government in their country what had happened it was realized that now prussia has to become the leader of the movement and has to bring about the german unification and the efforts were all made by otto von bismarck who was the prussian chief minister he had realized that unless he does not fight and he will not be able to bring about the unification so he fought three wars in seven years that is the prussian army fought three wars in seven years against austria denmark and france and liberated all the places which were under them all the areas which were under them which they had conquered and liberated them and thus came about the unification of germany so all the credit goes to bismarck for german unification simultaneously we have to talk about the unification of italy now history of italy has been the history of political fragmentation that is it has always been a hist- it has always been a land of small political fragmentations here Italy was actually divided into seven states and only Piedmont and Sardinia that is the two of them were under a Italian king and rest of them were either under a Bourbon dynasty or were under Austria therefore the need was to free them and bring them under Italy therefore the biggest effort that was made was by the three great people of italy mezzini victor emmanuel ii and garibaldi all three of them had different contributions towards the unification of italy mezzini as i have always been stressing in the chapter and you all know by now that he had made three secret societies and he started preparing a revolutionary army against the aristocracy therefore he was responsible for the secret societies whereas victor emmanuel ii he had an alliance with france he played a great diplomatic tact and he entered into a secret alliance with france and defeated austria and in the year 1859 thus it also gave a great boost to the unification of italy here we must remember that victor emmanuel ii was already made the king of united italy in 1861 even before the actual completion of italian unification the third and very important member was garibaldi now garibaldi was a very young and active member of young italy an association a revolutionary wing which had been formed by mezzini and because of the threat that he was getting from the government he had to flee the country but again he made a comeback and he started with a volunteer army that is those who themselves wanted to join the army which was called as the red shirts and thus he freed the government or he freed the territories from the bourbon dynasty with the help of the red shirts i talk about the rest of the chapter in the next clipping